and welcome to Grandad's Reviews. In this video, I'm going to go back to a previous video where I looked at whether the Fuji X-T3 slash X-T4 has dual native ISO or dual gain ISO. And in that video we looked at the noise and whether it actually reduced when you got to ISO 2000 where some of the reviewers have noticed a drop in the noise quality. And to be honest I didn't see anything. Um, my testing method might be incorrect but all I saw was a gradual increase in grain right from 640 in F log all the way up to 12,800 and no actual drop at all. So I thought doing this video and see is if the dynamic range changes because in some dual native ISOs the actual dynamic range at the base ISO in this case 640 is X amount of stops and then that slowly decreases and then when it hits the second gain it goes back up to the same number of stops as the base. What you find is you have more dynamic range in the shadows compared to the highlights at one base ISO than you do the other. So at 640 we might have more in the base or more in the highlights and then when we hit what might be the second native ISO, let's say 2000, it might have the other way around. What I thought I'd do very unscientific, very simple test. I've got the X-T3 pointed at a constant light. We're going to set the exposure at zero in F-log. I've got the uh, zebras on. I've got a Shinobi monitor on the top with false colours and a scope. We'll see where the scope is at zero at 640. Then we'll open the exposure up, see where it blows out, see how many stops that is, make a note of that. Then go the other way, see when it hits zero on the scope, and we'll see that. And then we'll go up through the ISO range and see if anything changes. So let's uh, have a look at that. So this is the setup. Got the X-T3, got the Shinobi, it's pointing at a sort of light source. We've got the ISO at 640 at this, we're in F-log. And I'll set the exposure at zero on there, and we can see where the scope is on that. So what I'm going to do is open up the exposure one stop at a time until we get zebras or red false colour and the scope comes to the top. So let's go one stop, two stops, three stops. So we've got that's four, so that's about three and a half stops over. So three and a half stops over. So what we'll do is reset and go the other way. Right, so we're going to go the other way. We've got it set at zero again. Scope's basically in the middle again. And we're going to go down. So that's one stop. Two stops. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, still going down. Eight. So we're on eight stops. We can do one stop more, do you think? No, it's not going down, so I'm going eight stops. Right, that's at 640. Let's try it at 800. So we're at ISO 800. Everything's set the same. We're at zero. Let's open it up. So one stop. Two stops, three stops, oh, yep, three and a half again. Let's go the other way. Zero, about in the centre, and we'll close the exposure down. So one stop, two stops, three stops, four stops, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think it will go down anymore. No. So eight stops. So we'll try it at 1600. So we're at 1600 ISO. Again in the centre. We'll open her up. So that's one, two, three, 
three and a half. So the other way again. So we're at zero. One stop, two stops, three stops, four stops, five, six, seven, eight again. So what we need to do is go to ISO 2000, see if it changes there. Right, so ISO 2000, <coughs> let's go. So one stop, two stops, three stops, three and a half stops. Now we just need to go the other way. Right, so we are zero again, till ISO 2000. Let's close it down. So one stop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight stops as well. Let's do 3200. All right, we're at 3200. We're on there. One, two, three, Ooh, three, uh, yeah. We're and about three and a half, a little bit better. It could be four. Let's have a look. Mm, four stops. Let's go the other way. Zero. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and we're down on the bottom again. So let's look at the results and get our conclusion. Right, so after that very quick and non-scientific test, going through the average ISOs we're going to be used, 640, 800, 1600, 2000, where supposedly we've got this dual native ISO or dual gain and 3200. What are the results? Well, on my bit of paper, nothing changed. At 640, we've got three and a half stops above and eight below. Yeah, I believe they uh, we've got eight, nine, ten, eleven. They gave an average of between eleven, about eleven stops of dynamic range uh, in video on the XT3, somewhere around there, and that's what we're getting. About 11 and a half stops so we went to 800 ISO we got the same three and a half above eight below 1600 the same 2000 the same and a very slight difference was 3200 where I managed to get four above and eight below but that could have been my testing method now this is just my simple test I could be doing the test completely wrong and it proves nothing but I would have thought you'd have seen some kind of change if there was a dual gain. Uh, either at 2000 ISO we'd have had less above, and probably only had one and a half stops, but more below, or the other way around. But I didn't see any change at all. So again, my conclusion, like the previous video, is that the Fuji X-T3, probably the X-T4 as well, doesn't have dual native or dual gain ISO. But again, watch other videos. Other reviewers see if their testing methods seem better and they're correct and I'm wrong. That's what it's all about. Just everyone testing and seeing what results they get. But that's my conclusion. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified, hit that notification bell. Till next time, see you later.